And I remember one chimp, he's, sadly he's died, although he, he leaves a lot of um he leaves a lot of offspring at Ngogo. But there was a chimp that featured in a film I made a few years ago at Ngogo, and his name was Pincer. And when I first saw shots of Pincer, I felt this like something different about this chimp. And I don't know what it is. And and in hindsight, I can't really believe that I couldn't spot it. But there was something just seemed very human about him. And I was sort of looking more closely. And I realized Pinsa had sort of completely white sclera. Like like you and I, right? So, you know, when I look over like that, you you know exactly you know exactly where I'm looking. And that's a very it's an important part of human cooperation. We we follow each other's gaze and and therefore, you know what it is I'm interested in, or maybe what I'm about to do. Um, but in chimps, I was I was reading about around it after I saw this chimp pincer with his with his white sclera, whites of the eyes. Um, officially, chimps don't have this characteristic. They 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 they're supposed to all have like brown. Um, where we have whites of the eyes, they have brown. So the difference in color between the iris and here is 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 less similar so this uh, there is we the, are this is that one yeah chimp. yeah okay i mean that's i mean it's a, it's a good one that that that's not even the best sort of picture of pincer and obviously you can see a bit of discoloration like you know they look like quite unhealthy whites of the eyes there but he has a very defined difference between his iris and whites of the eyes so with pincer even at a distance you can see where he's looking and that may not seem like much, but in a species where we don't fully understand their communication or they appear to be doing things without any vocalizations, um, I wondered, like, you know, how come Pince has got this and what impact do, does it have? I talked to, you know, there are other examples, oh, actually, and there is there's, there was a chimp in Gombe, I think he was called Mr. Wurzel, um, who had very good example of whites of the eyes as well. But we started um, looking into it in, at Ngogo, and I started talking to the scientists about it. And uh, and they were like, well, yeah, Pinsa does have whites of the eyes. We've, you know, we've never really thought about it that much. And it's not that they didn't notice, but as as filmmakers with our lenses and things, we, we're actually getting, we're often looking at the chimps in at a, in a level of detail that the scientists don't see every day. So in a way, we're sort of providing them with some sort of visual data um, that, that, that was of interest. And, and actually, they, they did a, a proper study on it at Ngogo and tried to find um, how many chimps at Ngogo had this sort of whites of the eyes. And they found, uh, I can't remember the exact numbers, but it was quite a reasonable percentage of it either had it you know pincer's a great example but had some version of that they don't know why this is 